everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous, and today I'm going to talk about character styles. So I'm going to be working in the academic calendar, which uh, is available from the shop. So if you're following along, go ahead and jump on down to the first weekly spread in September. Um, I think, let's see what page that is. That is page 18 through 19. All right. Now, Character styles are really cool because character styles are going to save you so much time. So this document, what I've done is I've embedded character styles in it. So I'm going to show you how to use it in this document and also how to create them on your own. So over here is Sunday. Now Sunday is a three and it's red and I know that it repeats every Sunday as a red uh, text field. But let's say I want to change that and I'd really like that to be green. So if I highlight this, what I've done in this document, if I go to styles, so if you go to window, styles, character styles, you can see that I have weekly header Sunday. And when I double click that style, it remembers the formatting for me. So it knows that it's a Playfair display size 32, the regular font style, it knows that it is red, and I think that's all I changed. I don't think I changed anything else, but there's so many different things in here you can change. But so let's say I want to go ahead and I said green, right? So I say green and I said okay. Now this is green and it's green over here too, and it's green over here too, and it's green over here too. So every single time that I have used that particular character style, it is green. So let's say this one over here, I want to change this to be green as well. So I could do weekly header Sunday and apply it and now that's green. So over here, same thing, weekly header Sunday and now it's green. So everywhere that I want something to have that particular color, I can go over here and apply it. So that's how you apply um, a character style. Now let's say you just want to create your own. Um, anywhere that you are. You want to go up here to none so you start with a nice clean sort of slate. Otherwise if you say new I believe sometimes it will just inherit the properties of that one. Um, but really easy. Go to the top say new or sorry say none and then over here click this third button which is create new style and it will default and put a new style down here at the bottom. I know it looked like nothing happened right. It actually put one in here. You can rename it by double clicking it my new style and then you can double click it again and then you can change anything you want. I can change the font, I can change the size, I can change the weight of the font and then it's going to, if I say okay, there's no save button, it's going to remember that and then when I go over here and I apply my new style, now it's been applied. Obviously that was a very small text, but um, you kind of get the idea. So that's something cool that's going to save you a ton of time, especially if you're doing planners. Uh, you should, if you know that Thursday is going to have a particular look and feel, every time you have Thursday, make sure you define it over here as a character style, and then you just have to change it once if you change your mind later. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions, and I hope you found this helpful.